Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley and on this channel we talk all things budgeting, cash stuffing, sinking funds, and savings challenges. So today we're going to go over my income for the week. We're going to count up all of my tips. I am a server. I make $2.13 an hour and these are all the tips that I get. I come home with both cash and credit card at the end of every night. I know that's been a question in some of my previous videos. And this is also after I tip out um, like the food runners, the bussers, and all that stuff. So this is everything that I bring home. Let's go ahead and get into counting up them tips. All right guys, so we are gonna count everything up and I'm gonna go over what I made each day. So Wednesday, as always, I clean our bathrooms Wednesday morning, give them a good deep clean. I get $60 for that. And then I um, did work in the morning on Wednesday. So I made 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. So that was good for a Wednesday. Um, I ended up closing on Thursday. So let's see what I made that day. Let's see, 100, 120, 140, 150, 151, 152. Not too bad for a Thursday evening. Um, this is for Friday. Friday I worked all day. So I think that ended up being about nine or 10 hours. I'm, I don't quite remember at this point. It is now Sunday, y'all. My brain is fried. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we made on Friday. We made 50 and then 20, 40, 60, 81. So 150, 20, 40, 60. So that is 210. Let me see, hold on. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210. <laughs> 220, 225, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So 275 on a 10 hour shift on Friday. And then this is Saturday. So originally I was supposed to work all day Saturday, um, but I had some stuff come up um, in my life and I had a coworker that really needed the money and needed to work. So between what I had going on with myself and what my coworker needed, I decided to go ahead and let her work all day and I would go home. So I just ended up working the morning on Saturday. So I made 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83. Not too bad for just a morning shift. And now this is Sunday, which is this. I just got home from this shift, y'all. And let me tell you, it was a day, like a day. Uh, I worked over 10 hours today and I am beat. I had large group after large group after large group. Like, I can't even tell you how busy <laughs> I was today. But let's go ahead and count this money up. Um, this is going to be probably the highest shift I have had so far and y'all I have worked in this restaurant now for 14 years I want to say it is this is my biggest shift yet so let's count this up <clears throat> we've got 100 200 250 and then we've got 20 40 60 80 100 so that's now 350 20, 40, 60, 
80. 100, that is now 450. 470. 490. 500. 510. 15. 20. 25. 26. 27. 28. 29. 30, 31, y'all, $531 in one day. Like, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in shock right now from this. Like, I just cannot believe that I made over $500 in one day. Like, it's just, it's crazy, but I will take it. So now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to sort through all this and we're going to tally, we'll tally, we'll add everything up and see what we made for the week. All right, y'all, I am going to pull out the calculator for this because, like I said, it's been a long week. It's been a long day today, and um, my brain's fried, so we're just going to use our calculator because he's our friend. So we've got 300, and then in 50s, we have 100. Now in 20s, we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 20, 40, 60, 86, so 600 here. In tens, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Fives, we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. And in ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Whew. All right. And the grand total, $1,184 this week, y'all. I am excited for that one. Like, super stoked for that one. So we're going to go in here real quick into our bullet journal and let's see where are we at okay so we're gonna do a little bit of planning here real quick to kind of show you what I do to go ahead and set up for the week so we have 1184 and if you watched my um, my video where I rearranged kind of my binders and stuff I did allocate new percentages for um, my new binders and we're gonna do everything based off that so we are gonna do 20% of our income so for this week in our bills binder we're gonna be stuffing 236 now we want to find out 5% of our total income, which is 59 to go towards taxes. So now 236 minus that 59. We have 177 left to work with. 
Um, me and my husband always give ourselves $25 for our personal spending money. Um, <clears throat> bills, let's see, bills can go ahead. I'll put a little bit extra in there, not too much. I'm gonna do 30 towards bills. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little extra in subscriptions cause subscriptions keep going up. So we're gonna do 20 towards subscriptions and then Jim can stay the same, that is fine. Which leaves us with $67 we can put towards debt snowball. All right, now, all right. So now let's go ahead and look at what 37% is. And that is going to be 438. And let's just go ahead and figure out 23%. And that is 272. All right, so let's go up over here and figure out we've got 438 to work with up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just say $50 for gas. We don't need to up that any. Um, pet care. I'll go ahead and do 30 for pet care. I'm going to skip dining for now. Let's see. We can do... We're going to do 50 for fun and we're gonna do we'll just do 10 for miscellaneous all right so we still have 298 to work with I am going to do 200 in groceries and that leaves 98 for dining and remember y'all my goal now is we're going to be unstuffing these so it's a little bit higher than I normally would but whatever I don't spend in these categories we will be unstuffing to um, put over into our savings challenge binders. So I'm okay with it being a little bit higher over here because we did bring in a decent amount of money and it's okay to splurge after working as hard as I did this past week. All right, so now we're gonna go back down here to sinking funds and we have 272 to work with for sinking funds. And let's see, I know right off the bat, I do want to put a decent amount into health. My husband does need um, his haircut and we do take that out of health and we've just spent a lot out of there recently. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put $50 in health. Um, I'm also going to put, I'm gonna put 40 in running. We have our race coming up and so there might be some stuff that we wanna get at the expo. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I am going to do 50 for car down payment. And then I think I'm going to do 25 no, I'm going to do 30 for car maintenance because my husband said his bike needs an oil change. I'm going to go ahead and do 25 for car mods. Um, I'm going to do... I'm going to do 25 for racing events. And then we're going to do 15 for home, 15 for clothing, 15 for gifts. And then that'll leave $7 for YouTube. And I'm still not stuffing this um, right now. All right, and that's it. I am not going to go ahead and um, do the, Dis the Disney and the savings challenge Um set up right now because we will be unstuffing what we didn't spend this week and that will go towards those along with um, I will have my um, cash back on my credit cards for my credit card savings challenge and 
yeah so we'll do that one on friday's video and that's it for today y'all i hope you enjoyed this um please if you have any questions leave them down below and remember to like comment and subscribe we are getting closer and closer to our 1k um, so that my channel can get monetized. And I thank y'all so much for following me along on this journey. Like, I greatly appreciate you. Um, look out on Wednesday for our cash stuffing of um, our bills and our cash envelopes. Um, and then Friday, we will be doing sinking funds and all of our savings challenges. So I'll see you then. Bye. Thank you.